Hi friends, today we are going to learn how to recover the lost or deleted data from your computer, external hard drives, flash drives, memory cards or any other removable storage devices. So hard drive on your computer and other storage devices are very important in terms of storing your data. Data which may be so much important that one day you realize it's gone because you accidentally deleted it or formatted the device. Now in order to recover this data there are a lot of recovery softwares you may find online and may cost you unaffordable amount. I would personally recommend you to use this safe and reliable software Wondershare Data Recovery. It's risk free, user friendly powerful and most importantly cost efficient available for both windows and mac operating system we will see today how to recover the data using this software but before that let's see what kind of lost deleted data this software can actually recover wondershare data recovery recovers your lost videos photos music documents emails archives etc from your PC's hard drive as well as from the USB devices, external hard drives and other storage devices. Let's see some data loss scenarios. Accidental deletion. You delete any files or folders using shift delete without taking any backup. Deleting files by right clicking context menu or just pressing delete button on your keyboard. Emptying recycle bin without taking any backup. Formatting. Media drive is not formatted. Do you want to format it now? You receive this pop-up occasionally upon connecting any removable storage media to your computer and you accidentally press yes. All your data is gone. Unexpectedly formatted hard drive. You connect your external hard drive to your computer and all you can see is there is no data available in it. The file system on the hard drive is showing as raw and you cannot even access it. Turning off your system during writing process. You are copying something to your external storage device and you turn off your computer. It may cause your external device to lose its data. Forcefully shut down the system. You forcefully shut down your system by pressing the power button for so long which may also result in data loss. So these are some of the data loss scenarios which can cause you lose all your important data. Which scenario you are in? Well we can still recover any of this lost data using Wondershare data recovery. In order to recover your lost deleted data all you need to do is to download this software Wondershare data recovery from following URL. You can find the URL in the video description right below this video. Now go to the URL and select Windows or Mac based on your operating system. You can try this software free of cost initially and then you can purchase it. All the benefits are same in both the free version and the licensed version except the amount of data to be recovered is limited. You can recover only up to 100 MBs of data using free version while there is no limitation in the licensed version. So let's see how to use this software. Download the software on your system from this page and install it. Then launch the software. I have the Windows operating system so I installed Windows version of this software. Once you launch the software, click on free trial to try this software. On the welcome wizard, click on next where it's going to ask you two simple questions. So the first question is what type of files do you want to recover? Giving you multiple options which are photographics, mp3 audios, videos, office documents, emails or all file types. Here I am going to select all file types and click on next. Based on your requirement you can select any one of them. The next question it asks is where did you lose your files giving you again multiple options. The first option says in a specific location. So if you remember exactly from where did you lose your data then select this option Click on browse and select specific location. Second option, external removable device. If you have an external storage device from which you need to recover your data then connect your device to the system and select this option. Third, recycle bin. If you feel that you have accidentally shift deleted files from your system then select this option. Fourth, desktop and my documents. 
this option gives you choice to select specifically your desktop and my document folder to recover the data from it fifth if you don't remember from where you lost the data then select this option and it will scan the whole computer and the last one if your computer has lost any of its partition then select the last option it will recognize the lost partition and scan it. So here I'm going to select recycle bin for the demonstration purpose and let the application scan it. Click on the next once you select the appropriate option. On the next screen it says that Wondershare data recovery is now ready to search for your files and gives you an option enable deep scan. I would suggest you to select this option and then click on start. So what this option does is that it recovers your formatted or lost files with its complete folder structure, which makes it very easy for us to recover our files and folders. Once you select enable deep scan, click on the start. If you have selected this option, it will take considerable amount of time. Now you can see the scanning is in progress. As we have selected the recycle bin, it will scan the whole recycle bin folder and try to find out the lost or accidentally deleted files. So deep scan will take a lot of time depending on the size of your disk and amount of data to be recovered. So be patient and let the scan complete. You can see the currently remaining time is showing as more than 3 hours. In your case, it may be more than that. So let the scan complete first. I'm not going to let you wait here in this video. So let me just fast forward it and come to the screen after the scan is completed. Now the scan is completed and on the left hand side pan it gives you two choices to view the files by file type or by path of the file where it was available prior to deletion. Under the path you can see it has recovered the files from D and E drives recycle bin folder. I will view the files by using file types. So let me just go to the file type and select JPG under graphics. On the right hand side pan you can find all your deleted images. The images which were deleted using shift delete because if you remember we recovered these files from recycle bin folder select the files and find the preview of the file right above it let me search for some of the images specifically this one set as the desktop background i had this image on my e drive but i deleted it so let's see if we are lucky to find this image here there you go i think we are very lucky to find the image so fast and easily you can see the file name size of the file path from where it's recovered. I had this image on my E drive, so it's recovered from E recycle bin. And the status of the file, which is good and can be restored. Now, let me show you how to restore this image. Just select whatever data you want to restore, as I have selected this image, and then click on recover. If you take a close look at this window, it says select a path to save the recovered files and don't save the recovered data to the volume where you lost them. Here in this case, we have recovered the data from system's hard drive. So it's better to restore the data in external device and vice versa. Let's see what happens if I save the data on my desktop. So let me go ahead and select desktop and click on recover. Well, there you go. It says, Saving data on the source partition will reduce the chance of successful recovery. Still want to save the data on it? No, just cancel it and select the external device to restore the recovered data. Now go to the external device to see your recovered data. And this is the same file I had shift deleted. This is how you can recover any kind of lost deleted data from any device. So based on your scenario, Choose the appropriate options and follow the on-screen instructions. It's very easy and reliable. Now the most important thing, as we have already covered that this unregistered free version of the software can recover only up to 100 MBs of data. If you have more than 100 MBs of data to be recovered, then you need to purchase the license. It's pretty simple. Go to the site and click on buy now. 
here select wondershare data recovery i hope you like the video so keep sharing it provide your valuable comments in the below comment box and do not forget to hit the subscribe button thank you